Sometimes a moment in life can change your life, and for one woman, it led to her helping others in Detroit. Yes, Award-winning journalist Mitch Album shows us how a trip to South America turned into something big in the D. I can change. 12 years ago, Kimberly Buffington was on a mission trip to feed the hungry in Lima, Peru, when she had an aha moment. We just came 6,000 miles and met these amazing, wonderful people and fed them. And there's people that are hungry 20 minutes from where I live. So I came back and said, I've got to find a way to have some impact in my own town. So Kimberly moved into the city and educated herself on what families really needed, food security. What does food security mean? There's enough food for everyone to eat, which usually means that there's food creation happening within a community. Seeing the lack of security, Kimberly needed to find a solution. She discovered a grocery partner to support the efforts, and Eden Gives was born. What came into my hands to give away was food from a local Trader Joe's store. Instead of throwing the food away that's about to expire, they have built processes into their store functions that allows them to donate that safely to nonprofits like ours. Mm. So I pick up from Trader Joe's and deliver food into the city. We feed 400 families. Wow. Isn't that crazy? And healthy food. Yes. But Kimberly couldn't just do food delivery. Today, Eden Gives is providing food sustainability through local gardens and abundance farming. And I realized that if I teach them to grow, then the possibility of them never being hungry again exists. It may have taken a trip to another country to spark her mission, but Kimberly Buffington and Eden Gives is creating an abundance of food for families right here in the heart of Detroit. And Kimberly joins us now live in studio. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's my great pleasure. Thank yes. you, guys. This incredible work that you're doing. Thank you. Now, your website says that it only takes $5, and that can create food security for a family? It can. What we do, because we have this wonderful partnership with Trader Joe's, I mean, we really just have very low operating costs. We have a lot of volunteers that, mm -hmm. that join us in this venture, so they pick up food. We pay for gas. <laughs> That's what we pay for a lot of the times. And so because of the volunteers that we have and because the food's donated, we can keep our operating costs pretty low. Yeah. And there we see you on the go through your Nourish Food Program. More than 300,000 boxes of food have been distributed. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the families that you are helping. Well, the, I, I got a real education as I began to give these boxes of food away. And what I have found in many of the families that are in our program, there's a gap for them in the way food gets to their house. So these are hardworking people that have jobs, they pay their bills every month, and they're also taking care of family members who live in their home. So you've got a, a man, one interesting story is we've got a gentleman in our program who makes a good living. He's a salaried employee, but some of his children are having to live with him now because they don't have jobs. So he's got eight people under his roof. Wow. And his salary, while it's a strong salary, it's, it's hard to feed that many people and pay all the other bills. We have seen that story over and over and over again. And so we stand in the gap for that, that group of people and help them provide greater food security for their families. That's awesome, that's awesome. So how can people help? Well, you can volunteer. We always need volunteers. We have eight distribution sites right now. In the next, uh, the first quarter of next year, we want to add another pickup from another Trader Joe's stores, mm -hmm. which will allow us to double our numbers. Wow. So we can go from serving 400 families to serving 800 families just by picking up seven days a week from another Trader Joe's store. And we need volunteers to help us do that. And of course, we need donations, just like any other nonprofit sure. does, to make this all work. Got to pay for that gas. That's too. right. We got to pay for that gas. Yes, and now I we have to it. pay for some staff because we're growing pretty fast right now. That's so, awesome. yeah. yeah. I'm to go to Trader Joe's to get me some of that risotto that's frozen yes. with the asparagus. I want to support them more now, right? Absolutely support your Trader Joe's stores because they have built these Bring processes them. that, yeah, they have built a process that allows for this type of uh, food donation to happen. Mm -hmm. And they are solidly behind it as an organization. And I just can't say enough about. Uh, how, what a good job they do with this. It's great work. Now, what's your website so everybody can reach out? www.eatinggives.org. Eatinggives.org. We will be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you.